Uh, so when I launched this, I, I had some money in the bank, and I knew I wasn't going to lose my house. I knew I had some things squared away. Um, I was living in the same house that I'd lived in for years, and I didn't. I kept my expenses low on purpose because I knew this was going to suck some cash. Um, but I set a number. It's kind of like going to a casino. How much are you willing to lose? And I said, well. I'll lose 50 grand on this deal, this idea. And if I lose 50 grand, then I tried, and it's a life experience, and I'm okay with that. But then it started happening. It's, I wasn't going to lose 50. I was doing all right the first year. Second year, I threw a bunch of money into marketing. And I said, well, what happens if you just need enough for another 5,000, another 10,000? I didn't want to give up, and I think that was one of the best things that somebody told me when I first started, is no matter what you do, don't give up. And trust me, by August of 2006, I wanted to give up. Um, working 33 days in a row, 12 hours a day, without a day off, changes your personality. And it lets you know, are you capable, capable of working that hard and staying focused for that long? And I thought I could, but thinking it and actually doing it and seeing how that affects your personality is different. And it changes you, it changes somebody. And I, um, I, I've seen, you can see it on other people's faces, how, if they've gone through that test. I suffered through that probably unnecessarily. I think a lot of the suffering was my internal thoughts that were going through my own head that were nece not necessarily reality. I think there was some extra suffering there that wasn't necessarily needed. Um, at the same time, I'm grateful because I know that I can come out through it. But it was hard. It was very difficult. The second year was by far the most difficult. The third year got became a lot easier. But it made me want to quit. But you just can't quit.